welcome. My name is Katherine Brooks. I'm an Enterprise PDM Applications Engineer with Trimec. Today we're going to be looking at using the Copy Tree and Move Tree functionality in Enterprise PDM 2015. So thank you for taking some time out of your day today to join us uh, in looking at these new features for EPDM 2015. So uh, we have the Move Tree functionality that is new in 2015 and also we have some updates to the interface for the copy tree so for the move tree let's say you've got a, um, a top level drawing with uh, an assembly and some parts that are spread out all over the vault and you want to move the top level drawing and all associated referenced files to a central folder location inside the vault uh, with the move tree functionality, it's going to capture all of the different referenced files and move them into a specified folder. Uh, for the updates to the interface for the copy tree, we have a collapsible settings group, uh, filter display functionality. Uh, they have revised the table structure as well as adding in some highlighting or updates will show in color now in the uh, table structure. So how do you use this new interface? Let's take a look at it uh, by going into our local vault view here. I've got a project here that has uh, um, some files. And let's say that I wanted to capture all of the reference files for this control box drawing and uh, put it into a new folder in my project 2011 folder, design data folder. So I'm going to select the drawing that I want to move with all referenced files. And I'm going to use my tools drop down menu and choose move tree. It's going to open up the move tree interface here. And the default destination I can always type in here. Uh, where I want these files to go, but I can also browse to this specific location as well by s selecting the Browse button. So I'm selecting the folder that these files are going to move to. I mentioned uh, that there is a collapsible settings interface here. As you can see, we can open and close this uh, for the move tree functionality. We have include simulation, preserve relative paths, include drawings, as well as regenerate serial numbers and cards. Over on our right hand side, we have our transform operations, such as adding a prefix, adding a suffix, renaming with serial number, as well as replace. So I'm going to leave these two checked, and I'm going to collapse my settings interface. For the filter display, maybe I want to filter for all SLD PRTs. So it's going to truncate the list of the files that are going to be moved that uh, meet up with this filter of SLD PRT. And it gives also a little bit of information of how many files are going to show here for the 17 files. Uh, we also have the ability to choose file types selected for move, path, and name changed as well. If I wanted to clear this filter, I would just click on my little X here. Um, so also some additional updates to this table interface. We now have the destination folder path separated from the target file name um, as two separate um, uh, interfaces here. So maybe I wanted to change this to control box updated. As soon as there's a change applied to one of these uh, files that is going to be moved, it's going to highlight the row in yellow to let you know that something has changed. Just like in Copy Tree, uh, we have the ability to select um, or deselect different files from being able to move with this entire process. Um, and then we still have the ability to open the file list in a CSV uh, file inside of Microsoft Excel, as well as save the file list if need be. Uh, down here at the bottom, we have the total selected files that are going to move. So it gives us a little bit of information of how many files are going to move, such as uh, two assemblies, six parts, 12 drawings, and three additional other file types. Once everything has been changed and applied for the settings that you would like, uh, you can go ahead and click on the Move button, which will start moving the files to the specified folder. So very similarly, uh, in a moment, we'll see the Copy Tree interface uh, looks very, very similar. Uh, we have the updated uh, filter display, we have the updated uh, table interface, and the highlighting functionalities will also be seen in that copy tree function in just a moment. So you can imagine how useful this might be uh, for moving your files uh, to a specified folder with references. So if we take a look here for our design data 2011 folder, 
uh, all of the files that were selected to move have moved. So now let's look at the, con the copy tree. With my drawing selected, I'm going to use my Tools drop-down menu and select the Copy Tree functionality. And like I mentioned, it looks very similar to the Move tree. Uh, we have our collapsible settings, and we have a few additional options here in the Copy tree, such as Version to Use and Copy Type, uh, and also Name Drawings after their models. And we still have our Transform operations over here on our right. Um, the check-in on copy comment is down here. We can say that this is a new control box design. And uh, we still have the ability to change the names as needed, such as updated, or even come in here and uh, start typing out a new folder, such as updated. And all of the different changes you can see um, are highlighting in yellow and also showing up as bolded. Uh, so once you've applied the different settings for the copy tree functionality, such as where this is going to go uh, into the 2012 folder, you can go ahead and click on the copy button and it's going to copy all of those files over to a new folder to start with a new design potentially. So uh, really cool updates to the interface, make it a little easier to use. Um, and also with that new move tree functionality, uh, Enterprise PDN will hopefully make your design process a little faster, a little bit more streamlined, a little bit easier to use. So once this is done, we'll go ahead and take a look at the folder to see the copied files. Almost there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our PowerPoint here in a moment. So just as a recap, you're going to select the file you would like to move or copy. Choose from the Tools drop-down menu to use either the Copy Tree or the Move Tree functionality. Apply all necessary settings, click Move or click Copy, and then you're done. Let's go ahead and take a look here in our 2012 folder. And all the files have been copied appropriately to this new particular um, 2012 design data folder. So thank you very much for taking some time out of your day today to join us for a short little video on the new move tree as well as the updated copy tree functionality within Enterprise PDM 2015. Once again, I'm Katherine Brooks. I'm a Trimec Applications Engineer, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.